Hello and welcome. We are experiencing Comet. And yes, this is a $200 subscription that we have spent and an early bird uh, access is with us. Let's understand how it moves on. We are going to experience this on Mac. Great. It's saying, what are we going to experience? It's a Gignati's Chrome profile. I don't want to give these details. I'm happy with Mercury. Venus, Moon, Earth. Uh, I would love to go with Mars. That is the Elon Musk's planet. Let's continue with Mars. Gignati is ready to experience. It's saying use Comet or Chrome. Let's see. I'm giving up for now. Comet is talking about a couple of things that I can start browsing. It says that what all I can do, ask anything, put together a grocery cart on Instacart for me from Walmart. I want to make a butter chicken and chicken cop salad. Let's see. Now it's going up. It's a multi-browser capability that uh, it is showing. And uh, it's now shopping for you. It's going to the Instacart. It's actually picking up all the stuff and give me the recipes for both use exact ingredients. It's basically helping you out. And while it's picking up a $43 cart for me, it's also telling me what recipe I should build. And so that's that's a great multi-agent flow within the browser. Let's see the another one uh, with the soothing music at the background. We have YouTube uh, transcribing on and summarization of uh, the current web page moving towards the automation of the clicks. So let's see how it is working. Start from the Tower of London on this map. Create a walking route to visit the top five tourist locations Apply to this map. So uh, something that every traveler would experience is picking up, routing it, and then telling me this is something that takes hours for me to actually build when I'm traveling on my vacation or, or I'm exploring a city, then browsing with a voice is amazing. Pull up the clip of Jensen demoing Perplexity Labs. I pulled up a YouTube video showing Jensen demoing Perplexity Labs at GTC Paris. It should Together be at that moment. To formulate what is now a Gentech AI. Let's take a look at one example let me show you something. It's built on perplexity and it's super cool. So fantastic. So it was the best man in the room, NVIDIA's big boss. Now let's move to the, the next use case. These are some of the tutorials that all of you as a subscriber will find. Let's experience first hand now. So Comet has something uh, that starts with a similar search experience that Google gives, but now it is saying summarize the last article that I've read, just the focus time slots based on my current calendar. That's great. Close all my distraction tabs, summarize my recent email. Let's see if it summarized my recent emails because I have logged into my Google account and uh, what does it do? Let's see if it is picking up something relevant from my sources it's saying that connect your gmail and google calendar that is something which is very impressive let's do that because this is some of the major usage of people uh, i'm just going to connect my gignati's uh, official email id give all these permissions pretty simple all uh, agentic workflows are working towards that direction that is perfectly fine now it's actually inside my box it's picking up all the relevant thing it says that you've got some security alerts from the bank it is saying per perplexity max has welcomed you some mou updation payment reminders amd developer cloud fantastic this is something very very important and it's a major shift and uh, google chrome either should launch something in the similar line or they should actually work out in in competing with uh, comet so let's see the next use case first thing first uh, we need to understand that we have an option where we can add our tabs and we can have this the recent gpt style thread what i recently did summarizing my event then it gives me an option to pick up by the topics, discovery of tech, science, everything. Then we can create spaces. Uh, let's, let's explore what it is offering. So, uh, assuming that my interest is to know about, let's say for you, let's say what it, what it does know for me. 
it's saying that it's talking about AI chatbot. Gradually in no time, it has picked up what are my interest areas and what I'm actually looking for. So now in case if I want to go ahead and do some search on what is future of AI agents in next three years and our software guys going to lose their jobs let's see what does it reply so these some of the experiences that will help us understand the capability of this tool versus the normal chrome browsing and it's picking up a lot of articles which perplexity any which ways was doing it it's telling the future of ai agents it's saying that global ai agent market is projected to grow at 35 percent cagr reaching 45 to 50 billion by 2030 which is a great number ai agents multi-agent all those things that everybody can read through impact routine task automated so that is going to ring that is going to happen already microsoft and salesforce and large giants have announced it entry level roles most affected how we are going to work out and that's where dignity comes in you have to check out then there is a role shift and then we are going to talk about some summaries that it has prepared and it has given me a tabulated data on what exactly was not there and also a conclusion and then some related stuff that perplexity was any which way is offering me but the major part is that what for i have spent 200 dollars is is the key to understand what is the whole comet rollout so sum up this particular uh, preview video i just want to tell that what 200 dollars are we spending for we are spending for the comet assistant which is going to manage inbox and calendars that's great to great to have delegate the basic task I want to put together something in my grocery card and I want to buy it. I need to check it live and would do a preview specifically for such use cases where I, I want to buy something uh, from my stuff. Get the gist in, in seconds, automate your clicks that I've already walked through, browse your website or your browser with a voice, get the answers, quickly find answers in your history that we've done, get insights on one click and reference any tab for precise answers. Precision is something that we are working on. And if I just want to run down one quick use case that tell me about Yogesh Huja's latest book on, on AI and help me buy at Amazon after checking reviews. Let's see. That is something which is a quick shout out to Comet. Perfect. It's picking. It's it's saying that the latest book is Invisible Enterprises, and it's also checking the reviews. It's it's actually picking up and saying that okay, there's a relevant source. It's now working out, going to the paperback format. It has picked up my location. It's doing a reasoning why we should buy, we should not buy it. I can see Amazon product page, paperback is there. It's, it's a good uh, start. It has already gone there. It has picked up. And if you see it, if I can open this particular thing, it's clicking. It has added to the cart. It is it is actually doing it. So guys, you are not doing it, but, but Comet is doing it before you are doing it. Proceed to the cart. It's reasoning. It's opening. It's creating my account. I don't have an Amazon account. I don't know whether it creates for me or not. But yes, if it is working, I would say that post this thing, there's a task that can be delegated. So let's see paperback, book detail, all the things, next steps. It is that if you wish to continue, please sign into the Amazon, which is perfectly fine. Till then, I will share you the referral codes for the comment.